Work, game. Work and game. Work and game. You get the idea. It's kind of become the natural progression of my desk setup. So I figured, why not give you a tour of my hybrid work from home desk setup? I originally made a video about this very simple gaming setup about a year ago, which you can watch in the link above, but I've made a few updates since then. I'm going to go through all the things I have here on this desk and why I chose them, but I'd like to quickly remind you to subscribe to the channel if you like content like this. Anyway, let's start with the monitor. This is the BenQ 3220U Designer Monitor, basically a 4K resolution 32 inch monitor made with designers in mind. It can be connected via Thunderbolt cable, which makes it an ideal monitor for Mac users such as myself. Included with this monitor is a controller that you can customize for various settings, including the dial, which can be used to adjust the volume or brightness. A unique aspect of this monitor is the MBook mode, which color matches the MacBook Pro's screen. This makes it ideal for when I'm editing photos and videos as I can rely on the consistency and accuracy of the colors across both screens. I find that this monitor does a great job both for work or just watching media. Resolution is sharp, the colors are great, and the screen size is really nice. I wouldn't call it perfect though because the screen doesn't get as bright as my studio display and the speakers are honestly not good. However, what you do get is an excellent large monitor with accurate colors that is also much more affordable than what Apple currently offers in terms of screen color accuracy. With a 60Hz refresh rate, it's definitely not geared for gamers, but for a casual gamer as myself, I think that this monitor still looks great. For the type of games I play, I've never really had any issues with screen quality. I think it might simply be the fact that I feel like I'm playing on a fairly large TV than a computer monitor thanks to its size. And the size does help hide the console right behind it. I'm using an Xbox Series S mounted on the wall behind the monitor. I think the Series S is the perfect console for casual gamers. It doesn't support 4K resolution, but it has never bothered me at all. I also like the fact that I have access to a huge library of games thanks to Game Pass. It's just one of those things that I can simply turn on when I need a quick break. I fire up the Xbox, switch the monitor's input using the controller, and I'm good to go. I use an audio to RCA cable to connect the speakers to the monitor and switch the signal from my MacBook with this button. I don't always use headsets when I'm gaming as I really don't have a lot of time during the day to play with friends, but the combination of the speakers and the monitor really make for a really enjoyable gaming session. Of course, I have to talk about the speakers themselves. These are the Fluence AI41 bookshelf speakers and they sound really, really good quite affordable too at around $200. These are active speakers with a 90 watt amplifier that delivers balanced sound and room filling audio. These are pretty much plug and play speakers and I can also connect my devices using Bluetooth. They also sit on top of these speaker stands by Balolo. The stands are tilted upwards ever so slightly so that the speakers are pointed at an optimal angle once placed on top. I love how the stands match the colors of the speakers, and in case the name Balolo sounds familiar to you, they also design desk accessories such as the shelf I'm using on my setup. I know it's not going to sound perfect through YouTube, but here's some sample sounds from these speakers. Whenever I'm working, I prefer using my Bowers & Wilkins noise-canceling headphones, but for gaming, I use these very affordable Astro A10 gaming headset. 
And honestly, it's just hard for me to justify paying for more expensive headsets with the way these sound. Maybe also because I'm just not a hardcore gamer, but the point is, these are really good sounding headsets with a built-in microphone that works very well with my Xbox. I mentioned the desk shelf earlier, and this one is made by Balolo. It's called the Setup Cockpit, and as a matter of fact, I made an entire video about this desk shelf, which you can watch at the link on the top of the screen. Anyway, this shelf does a lot more than just offer organization or additional storage space. For one, it looks good. I decided to use the small version to give room for the speakers on the side. And yet, I still have enough surface area on top for miscellaneous items, and I can also attach various accessories specific to the setup cockpit, such as this Stream Deck, for example, which ironically, I actually use as a quick launcher, mainly for work and not for gaming. The MagSafe holder is probably the most popular accessory you can get for the setup cockpit. I can charge my iPhone on the shelf while still giving me access to it without having to take extra desktop space for a separate charger or stand. Another accessory I really like is the laptop holder that I mounted on one side of the shelf. This holds my MacBook Pro neatly in place when docked. The setup cockpit is thoughtfully functional and a beautiful piece to have on any desk setup. So this is the extra large matte desk mat by Grovemade, but in this new light gray color. And it is currently my favorite. It's big enough to cover nearly the entire desktop. It's also very durable, easy to maintain, and protects the surface of my desk against scratches. For peripherals, I'm using the white MX Mechanical Keys by Logitech, as well as the white version of their very popular MX Master 3S mouse. Both blend in nicely with the light colored desk mat and suits the theme of this setup quite well. Now, since I still sit in virtual meetings all the time, I still needed a no frills webcam added to my setup. For this, I'm using the Insta360 Link, which has great picture quality, awesome tracking features, and impressive gesture controls. The chair I'm using is the Titan Evo from Secret Lab. It's a very popular chair for gamers, and although admittedly, I was originally not a fan of gaming chairs in general, I can see why people actually enjoy this. The armrests have a lot of adjustability, and the back support is actually quite good. I especially like the soft pillow that attaches to the back magnetically. Touch points are soft and feel high quality. Plus, the overall look simply matches the rest of the setup. I'm still using my old but favorite electronic sit-stand desk by Ergonoffice called the Sway Desk, and I try my best to keep all cables managed and organized using Ergonoffice's optional cable management panel. Speaking of panels, I'm using these hexagon-shaped acoustic panels mainly for aesthetics in this space. I think they look really good since they blend nicely with the white walls. The shapes make the backdrop visually interesting without it looking overly distracting. This is currently my favorite spot to work in, mainly because it's just efficient in the sense that I can easily switch between work and leisure. While it's still ideal to have a separate desk setup for either one, it's not really conducive for a lot of people, especially if you lack the space in your own home. I hope this video has given you some ideas on how to build your own hybrid desk setup, and if you have any suggestions for it, I'm all ears in the comments section. Oh, and by the way, I'm currently working on my actual home office makeover video, which I will be sharing as soon as I get everything in order. I don't want you to miss out on any of the exciting things I have to share just around the corner, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that bell icon. You know what to do. I also want to sincerely thank you for supporting my content over the years. Always happy to create and share content with you, so see you guys again very soon.